golden angel glitters on top of a column. This is Bastille Square in Paris. Near the end of the 18th century, the prison located here was stormed by local citizens. That was the beginning of the French Revolution. Oh, the buildings are really packed tightly together. But in the days of the Revolution, this was out in the suburbs of Paris. It still has the feel of an old commercial district. There should be a canal somewhere in the back streets here. Paris doesn't have many of them. Now, where is it? Ah, uh, hello, excuse me. Ah, I found it. The St. Martin Canal. All kinds of boats are moored here. What's this down-to-earth Bastille neighborhood like? Okay, today's walk starts here. Nine o'clock in the morning. Unlike the main street, it's quiet around here. The trees are showing some color too. Let's see, where's my map? I'm about here on the St. Martin Canal, which flows into the Seine. It flows northward underneath Bastille Square. Oh, look at all those boats. Chairs and a parasol, all set for a little sunbathing, I'd say. Oh, there's someone on the deck. My, a very elegant coffee break on board a boat. Oh, good morning. Bonjour, monsieur. Nice weather, isn't it? Vous en prie? Well, it's just, you seem so comfortable. C'est un endroit paradisiaque. Au pied de la Bastille, en plein Paris. Un jardin. Je passe par la tondeuse. Que demander de plus? Et par-dessus le marché, vous avez le soleil. Do you always enjoy your coffee there? Ben, C'est-à-dire, euh, dès qu'il y a un rayon de soleil, j'ai une terrasse, j'en profite. Hein. Mais c'est ma maison, attendez, je viens pas boire le café chez quelqu'un. <rire> c'est ma maison, j'y habite. Voilà. Oh, you live here, on the boat? Oh, bien sûr. Alors, vous descendez, vous avez une échelle là pour descendre. Hein? Et puis, vous montez par là. Oh, sure, it's okay. Aucun problème. Oh, if you don't mind, thank you. Wow, life on the water in Paris. I wonder if there are others who live like this. Mmm, nice flowers. Up we go. Hello, madam. Je vous en prie. I hope I'm not disturbing you. Non, non, je vous ai proposé de monter. Say, this is nice with the water and all. Oh, you can see the Bastille Tower from here. There sure are lots of boats around here. Et, enfin, avant que le, le port de plaisance n'existe, et avant que le trafic fluvial ne diminue, c'était un port de commerce où faisaient halte les, les péniches qui transportaient beaucoup de bois pour les artisans du Faubourg Saint-Antoine. Artisans Qui qu faisaient mieux parce que tous les grands artisans du 18e siècle étaient installés euh, rue du Faubourg Saint-Antoine. Oh, you certainly know your local history. Et ça ne fait jamais que... Euh, 35 ans que je vis sur un bateau. 35 years mm. But I never knew you could live on a boat in the middle of Paris. En plein Paris Mais beaucoup oh, de Parisiens en... l'ignorent. Beaucoup de Parisiens l'ignorent. Des chauffeurs de taxi ne le savent même pas. Ah, her own little hideaway, huh? From the deck of her boat, she must have seen a lot of changes. Sorry to interrupt your coffee break. Nice talking to you. Je vous en prie, pour moi, ça me paraît tout à fait normal. Hein? Oh, thank you very much. 
Eh bien, je vous souhaite une bonne journée également. Et si vous avez l'occasion de repasser, vous pouvez le faire, sans problème. Au revoir, bonne journée. Goodbye, madam, and thank you again. Hmm, interesting. They carried lumber in by boat and unloaded it at the harbor here. And Bastille artisans used it to make furniture. I wonder what sort of artisans live here now. I'm back in Bastille Square. Better check the map again. The Bastille district is on the east side of the square. I guess the central road here is the main street. I think I'll check it out. Ah, this must be it. Good morning. Everyone has their morning cup of coffee. Oh, the sun is so bright. Oh, hi there! Everyone walks so fast. I suppose they're going to work. Oh, it's such lovely weather. That man's got quite a load there. I wonder what it is. He's going into an alley. What a clatter. The cobblestones are great to look at, but no good for cargo. Ah, he's going right under the building. What's this chair doing here? What kind of shop is this? Hello. Ah, uh, here, here's another chair. Are they used by guards or something? Another alley. And more chairs. Their backs are different shapes. Hmm. Ah, this is a furniture shop. Are those chairs for sale then, or just for resting? For some reason, the whole place is full of empty chairs. Looks like a dead end. The lady on the boat said that furniture makers worked in this neighborhood. Haha, <laughs> more chairs. And another furniture shop. I wonder if that's the owner. Oh, there are lots of people looking around. Let's see what the sign says. Ah, they make chairs here. Wow, it says they were founded in 1919. They've been in business for over 90 years. I think I'll take a look. Uh, excuse me, mind if I come in? Uh, may I? Oh, what a fine alleyway. Ah, bah oui, si, c'est ancien, hein? C'est ancien. Oh, bah, Louis XV. Oh, my goodness. Voilà. Voilà. Oh, I see. They do their work back here. Voilà. C'est là que nous fabriquons depuis trois générations. Three generations. De père en fils. Depuis 1919. C'est nous qui fabriquons. On est tapissier. On est tapissier de métier. I see. Voilà. Puis vous avez Michel. Je vous présente Michel, qui est le. Qui est où j'ai été apprenti avec lui. Ah, uh, hello, nice to meet you. Bonjour. Oh, he's putting the springs in. So, this chair is finished, right? Voilà. 
voyez, le pied a été changé par rapport... À... Ça, c'est un pied neuf qu'on a refait à la main, hein, puisque on n'utilise pas les machines pour... Euh, vous voyez Donc ça, c'est à la main de la personne qui l'a fait. All by hand. Voilà, je maintiens encore, <rire> quelques temps. And Mais what bon, about the future? Euh, J'en ai pas. <rire> oh, really? Malheureusement, j'ai pas de fils. Malheureusement. Ah, c'est... Eh ben, pour l'instant, je sais pas. On va, on va mettre quelqu'un de métier, on va mettre quelqu'un, j'espère, euh, qui pourra continuer, quoi. So, all this skill, this artistry in making furniture might disappear? Oh, what a shame. I hope you find a way to keep it going. Bah, vous savez, quand on est apprenti, hein, ben c'est comme tout. Hein. On rentre à l'armée, c'est la même oh, chose. I'm hein. sure of that. On a des bons souvenirs. Bon, on a des souvenirs que le faubourg était vraiment le faubourg du meuble. Ah, c'était le centre Avec, mondial voilà. du meuble. Ah. C'était le centre mondial voilà. du Son, meuble. Voilà, les gens venaient de, de, de loin, ils venaient de, ils venaient de, de partout. C'est-à-dire que vous aviez... This really was an artisan district, wasn't it? Thank you. Ah. Oui, bien oui. sûr, bien sûr. Bien sûr, bien sûr. Pardon. It was so great to hear your story. Alors vous allez dans les, dans les magasins. More chairs. Here as well. Artisans were at the center of the world. I understand the feeling. I hope they can find a way to keep it going. Hello everyone, if you come to Bastia, be sure to try a cruise on the canal. Here we go. First we'll go under Bastia Square. The first two kilometers of the San Martin Canal are underground like this. Pretty thrilling, isn't it? The next thing we see is a lock. The canal flows through hills. So every once in a while, there are locks that change the water level. The water is under terrific pressure. See? It gushes out like some kind of water park attraction. Water is poured into the locks from the high side until the level in the locks is raised enough for the boat to continue. The canals were important transport arteries that supported the Industrial Revolution in the 18th century. They carried all kinds of goods. One of them was the lumber used by furniture makers. Well, what do you think? Paris looks pretty nice from the water, doesn't it? Canals were built all over Europe. You can go all the way from the Mediterranean to the North Sea by boat. I wonder where I am now. Better check the map. Let's see. I came east from Bastille Square all the way to here. Ah, here's an open-air market. Look at all the fruit. It's a little before noon. The place is really hopping. Ah, I see vegetables over here. <laughs> so much energy. This is the way a market should be. Bright red tomatoes. And look at those mushrooms. Wow. Excuse me, how do you eat these mushrooms? Oh, omelets. And what are those next to them? Shiitake, really? Really? I didn't know that. They've got all kinds of foods here. Something you'd expect in a gourmet city like Paris. Watch out, Mama. Don't drop anything. She's got her hands full. Oh, 
Let's see. What have we here? Fish. Fish of all sizes. Wow, such variety. <laughs> There's a big one. They cut and trim the fish. I suppose they have lots of regular customers. Man, they really know how to hawk their wares around here. Hey, check this out. Sea urchins. Oh, hi there. I, I see you eat sea urchin in France, too. They dive for them? And open them up with scissors? How do you eat them? Soit vous mangez ça naturel, tout simplement, ou un petit filet de citron. Just like the Japanese, raw is best for sure. Comme ceci, je vous mélangez ça avec des œufs pour faire une omelette, corail d'oursin, magnifique. Oh, that's a good idea. Ouais, C'est le top. C'est aphrodisiaque. C'est formidable. Succulent sea urchin in nice, moist eggs. Mmm, sounds delicious. Thanks for talking with me. I'm sure he's a favorite among the regular customers here. It's one o'clock, lunchtime. White buildings under a blue sky. It feels so good. Enjoying lunch outdoors. Everyone seems to be having such a nice time. Ah, bonjour! Ça va? Huh? Ah, it's you, the furniture maker. Ah, bah, déjà, oui, bah, faut s'arrêter un petit peu, c'est l'heure. Après le travail, il y aurait confort. Are these your friends? Oui. Bah, voilà. Voilà. Hello. Bonjour. Bonjour. Voilà, les artisans comme moi, pareil. Voilà. Hello. Euh, remplissage de coussins en plume. En plume et duvet. Plume et duvet. Et moi, du canage, du paillage, de la cachette. Voilà, alors à la vôtre. Hein. Santé. À vôtre. Cheers. <rire> à votre santé. Hey, you're all such uh, substantial men. Voilà. Ah, ah, oui, oui. Ah, oui. Ouais, ouais, après, je me prépare pour être sumo. You know about sumo? Amazing. Well, enjoy your lunch. À bientôt. À bientôt. Allez, Allez au revoir. Hein. À bientôt. Thanks, me too. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. They're a lot of fun. Goodbye. I see what they mean. In this part of town, artisans are the center of the world. I think I'll go this way next. Hey, what's that up ahead? Some kind of arch. I think I'll check the map. Let's see. I saw the furniture district, went through the market. This mystery arch must be around here somewhere. Looks like a bridge, but it has trees growing on it. It looks kind of strange. I'd like to go up there. I wonder if there's a way. Is that a park? It, it looks like it. Oh, people are coming down. There's a stairway. Ah, here it is. I can climb up here.
Hello. Wow, look at this. A path lined with trees. Hello. People are walking all over the place. A green tunnel. This is very cool, like a different world under the trees. Wonderful. People can enjoy cycling too. Hmm, according to the guidebook, this green belt was built on the bridge of a decommissioned railway line. Wow, it says it runs about four and a half kilometers from Bastille Square. Oh, there's a great view of the city from here. It's fun to think that trains used to run right here. Hi, do you come here often? Ah, c'est très, 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 très agréable. Non, on habite en banlieue, mais on vient spécialement se promener ici pour montrer notre petit fils. Oui, tout à fait. Oui, oui. Oh, this is your grandson. Merci. 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 Thanks for talking with me. Hey, buddy, must be great riding your scooter here. Ah, uh, more steps. This should take me back down to street level. Wow, made it. Ah, they renovated the area under the bridge. They've made shops with modern show windows inside the arches. So many of them. This one has paintings on the wall. Is it a gallery? They sell furniture and lighting too. Those cute toys. And look over there. Are those French dolls? They look like antiques. I think I'll take a look. Uh, excuse me. Wow, it goes back a long way. Hello, excuse me. Are these French dolls you're selling? Nous vendons des poupées, des automates et des et des nounours aussi. Mechanized? Are they antiques? Alors non, on fait de la restauration de poupées, restauration d'automates et également on fait aussi de la fabrication d'automates sur demande. So these folks are doll artisans. Oh, you have your workshop there in the back. Oh, hello. Excuse me. This one looks pretty old. Ah, bah, attendez, je vais vous le faire fonctionner. Non, non. Voilà. J'espère que ce chapeau et la perruque vont tenir. <rire> et ici, il a un œillet. Hein? C'est l'œillet des Espagnols un petit peu révolutionnaire. Ah, her face changes expression. Alors ici, donc, il va avoir cette, euh, ce tambourin. Hein? Et ici, il a des castagnettes qu'on qu n'a pas encore retrouvées. I see. Voilà, il est en cours de restauration. Il y a encore deux à trois jours de travail. Hein, voilà. Si tout va bien, je l'aurai terminé samedi. Mais... Ah, so this is a customer. Voilà. Je viens pour cette poupée, pour réparer, pour demander des nouvelles, pour comment il peut me mettre ce, ce pied euh, qui s'est défait. Donc, euh, ben, j'attends que. I see. I suppose she's quite important to you, isn't she? Well, oui, que j'ai eu étant, ma mère m'a donné les enfants, 
Et puis elle était bon, ça, ça tenait la, la route, elle était en entier. Bon, le tissu, ben, c'est pareil, ils se, se sont défraîchis, ils se sont mis à avoir soif à force de s'en servir hein, en jouant avec. <rire> Donc on demande de la réparer, puis de la rhabiller. Ça fait... oh, I'm sure you have many memories with her. Ah ben oui, euh, automatiquement, elle a un regard et des yeux bleus qui sont très... Uh, does she have a name? Euh, elle s'appelle, euh, à l'époque, euh, elle s'appelle Marguerite. Ah, oui. what a pretty name. Parisians value old things. That's why artisans can maintain their skills, isn't it? Oui. Alors ça m'intéresse autant de faire la restauration de la poupée, parce que chaque poupée représente l'histoire un peu de la famille, si on, si on pense. Ça, en général, quand on vous raconte l'histoire de la poupée, on a la vie de madame, la vie des parents, des grands-parents, et euh, c'est le lien familial. Et c'est souvent transmis. Quand on fait restaurer, c'est qu'on transmet. Yes, I can see that. I hope the repairs go quickly. Thanks for talking with me. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. Je vous dis au revoir. Sayonara. <laughs> Excuse me. Au revoir. Hello. Oh, please come in. Excuse me. So their job is to refresh memories and family ties. What a fine occupation. This medal is called an MOF and is awarded only to the best craftsmen in France. It's a highly coveted prize. Every three years, MOFs are awarded to one person in each of 220 fields that range from the culinary arts to handicrafts and gardening. I'm a chocolatier and I received this award for my chocolate making. Contestants are nominated and must create 48 different recipes for judging over three days. Just look at this rich creaminess. A perfect blend of cocoa and fresh cream heated to just the right temperature. This is one of the ways a chocolatier can really show his skill. Creativity and aesthetic sense are also judged. In the competition, I submitted artworks like this. Unique creations such as these were judged for their originality. They combine the mellow taste of chocolate with a fragrant hint of Japanese yuzu, a kind of citrus fruit, a delectable harmony. The true essence of a French craftsman is to delight people. We believe that art is found in the midst of daily life. Ah, three o'clock. The cafes are full of people having their afternoon coffee. Time to check the map. I've come from the old railway bridge back toward the artisan neighborhood I started in. <laughs> A nice ride on the shoulders. Ah, there's some construction going on in this alley. Oh, oops, I'm in the way, sorry. Hard at work. Huh? I hear music. Oh, it's this guy on the bench. Uh, excuse me, are, are you practicing? Ah, a street musician. Thanks for playing such a sweet tune. Thanks. Bye. Oh, his trumpet has such a soft, sad tone. It fits this old Paris neighborhood somehow. 
So many shops lined up here on the left. I guess these shoppers are on their way home from work. Oh, another alleyway. Ah, beautiful stone walls. Hmm, the cobblestones add a nice touch. Lovely potted plants by the entryways and by the second story windows as well. I see chairs hanging from the wall back there. This must be another furniture workshop. There's a craftsman at work. Ah, that's the back of a chair. I suppose he's been doing this work for decades. What's that red gate up ahead? What's this place? Shall I take a look? Uh, sorry to bother you, but... Hello? But what kind of work do you do here? On travaille le cuir et euh, on fait des tas de choses. Ouais, on fait des dessus de bureau, on fait des, du cuir de cordou, on fait plein de choses. Oh, may I take a look? Oh, bien sûr, oui. Oh, your workshop is next door. Thank you so much for showing me. Pardon me. Oh, all women. Hello, how are you? Ah, so this is leather carving. Such exquisite work, amazing. Oh, you all seem so well practiced at it. Je suis ici depuis ce matin. Really? You just started. <laughs> et, et en fait, c'est uh, les collègues qui m'ont qui m'ont appris uh, à faire ce travail. Your first day. Depuis ce matin. Oui. Uh, yeah. Unbelievable. Wow. On embauche parce qu'on a on a du travail, alors on embauche. C'est pas beau ça? Hein? That's wonderful. It's good to recruit young folks, huh? J'ai euh, fait une formation dans une école d'artisanat qui s'appelle l'école Grégoire Ferrandi, où j'ai passé un CAP de cellier maroquinier. So you're well qualified. But why did you decide to come here? Bah, parce que c'est le Faubourg Saint-Antoine, c'est là où il y a tous les artisans, les vieux métiers de Paris, et travailler euh, pour les établissements Tassin, c'est vraiment une référence. I see. So here you can polish up your skills. You've all been so kind. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm sure of that. Of that I have no doubt. Ah, looks like break time. Lots of artisans are gathered on the street. Hello, how are you? Uh, it's nice to take a little break once in a while, huh? So, you get together like this often? On connaît tous les artisans du Faubourg, nous, C'est convivial et tout le monde se retrouve régulièrement. That's great. I envy you. Oh, bah ça finissait tard le soir. I can imagine going out for a drink or two, eh? Well, take care. I hope your work goes well. Thank you. Bye.
Ah, she came out to wave goodbye. Thanks so much. Oh, it's great to meet young people attracted to the artisan way of life and to see them all relaxing together in the alleys of Bastille, too. Hello, I'm Caroline. I'm in charge of this costume shop. It's inside the Bastille Opera, the home theater of the Paris Opera. And this workshop specializes in making all its costumes. Located on Bastille Square, the Bastille Opera is the preeminent opera house in Paris. Although the architecture is modern, it carries on the artisan traditions established in the 19th century. Over 20 operas are produced here every year, requiring about 1,800 costumes. All of those costumes are made by the 40 seamstresses and tailors who work here. We begin the process by dyeing the cloth. Everything is done by hand. Most of the costumes used in opera are based on traditional designs. Just look at this elegant line. It takes very special cutting and sewing skills to create three-dimensional clothing like this. The costumes have to precisely fit the bodies of the singers who often move quite energetically. We also do fine embroidery. This is where our seamstresses really shine as they continue the venerable tradition of the Paris Opera. But it's on stage where our costumes truly come to life. If you come to Bastille, please be sure to see the opera. Uh, let's see now, 4.30 in the afternoon. It's already getting dark. Oh, I've seen so much today. The canal, the alleys in the artisan neighborhoods, the market. I guess maybe I'll head back to Bastille Square. Huh? What's that? Ha-ha! There's a nostalgic sight. It's as if an amusement park had suddenly appeared in the city. Look at it go around. Uh-oh. Someone's crying. I guess the little guy's scared. Hang on, kid. This will turn out to be a great memory for you. Evening in an old Paris neighborhood. I suppose it's time for children to head for home. This area seems more geared to adults. The neon signs are blinking. Listen to that sweet tune. Sounds like the Paris of the old days. What is this place? Hello. What is this place? A dance hall. Ah, oh, thank you. Oh, what a great atmosphere. These relief carvings show the good old days of Paris. The lighting's wonderful, too. Mm, it seems so warm and comfortable here. A nice place to be. 
It's great that old-fashioned dance halls like this are still found in Bastille, isn't it? Ah, that's amazing. No, no, A favorite haunt for locals? I see. A much-loved dance hall. Oh, they're stepping lively. <laughs> Fantastic dancers. Ah, time for a break. Still moving to the beat. Hello. Oh, I see you love to dance. I can tell just by looking at you. I wish I could dance like that. I see. <laughs> Makes you feel 18 again. <laughs> Yes, I can believe that. Ah, off they go again. They really do seem young. Hmm, I think I've just learned an important lesson in life. Well, everyone, take care. Keep on dancing. Goodbye. What a fine old dance hall. No wonder everyone loves this part of town so much. Well, the sun's gone down already. Ah, oh, what a beautiful evening sky. I suppose all those artisans are on their way home by now. Or maybe they've stopped off to have a drink together. Ah, oh, what a nice life. Here they are, working in the center of the world, Bastille. I see that angel again, glittering gold. I'm back again at Bastille Square. <laughs>